Pick him up, pick him up, stay strong with him, stay strong with him. Pick him up, pick him up. Down here on the farm working on a chilly and, and rainy spring day. I'm uh, up here at the water meter, uh, getting over, getting the water tank, the uh, sustainable water system filled up or whatever, so we can get water to the animals back there or whatever. <clears throat> it's a good old rain day, and uh, you know farming don't stop when it rains or whatever. But I just want to take a minute and just like stand up because this is one of my favorite spots on the whole property or whatever. <clears throat> is the top of the hill, the very, very top of the property or whatever by the street. And uh, you can just stand on this top hill and, you know, during the fall time when all the leaves are not on the trees, you can almost see all the way to the back or whatever because it's probably about a thousand feet to the back or whatever. But, uh, you know, when when all the leaves are on the trees, you can't see all the way to the back, but it's still a beautiful sight, though, overlooking the pond. I don't know if you can tell, like, the elevation change or whatever the hills, but uh, <clears throat> it's just a beautiful sight looking at the rolling hills. You know, I love uh, flat property, but ain't nothing like a good old uh, rolling hill property. Because it's like uh, our property like goes downhill. It, it kind of flattens out right there, you know, where the pond is at. And then it goes down again and flattens out. And then it goes up and flattens out or whatever. So it's kind of like, you know, different benches or whatever on the property. But got my old farm dog with me. Old Gideon, my blue hiller. Still trying to get him trained up. He's doing a good job so far. Yeah, just out on the farm today overlooking you know what the lord gave us or whatever what he he's given us to be stewards over and uh it's, a, it's an amazing thing i love it i stopped by track supply and got me some of these uh uh rain some rain gear i got the coat as well or whatever but it's not raining real hard right now so i took the coat off because it was kind of hot but uh getting the water filled up <clears throat> on the farm today oh four six hundred tractor back there doing me good i had to do a little work on it the other day get it back going it wasn't uh i wasn't getting sparked or whatever but it's an amazing thing just look at that look at that beauty gotta get some grass cut some burn piles burn but you know as they say farm is not about to have them but it's about to doing you know because if we <laughs> get everything done it's kind of like you know the farm will be a little boring but you know as long as we got something to do you know we can can make it happen you know yep 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 but just getting the water filled up Doing a little work, get the animals taken care of. Not a real long video today. Just an observation of what's going on out here. Let's see our, our entry gate up here, farm gates. But, uh, yep, yep. <clears throat> I'm trying to time this uh this water tank here to see how long it takes to fill up. So if I ever like ever have somebody else down here, I can like tell them like, hey, it takes two, three minutes, you know, to fill that tank up or whatever. Like, but anyway. The IG phone is all about God. Just a little short video. Just looking at the proper property from the top of the hill. Wrangle them in, bro. Grab my bad leg. There you go. There you go, boy. Hand them in. Pick them up. Pick them up. Don't let them go. Don't let them go. Let them go. Come on. There you go. Grab your number. Grab my bad leg. There you go. Pick them up. Pick them up. Stay strong with them. Stay strong with them. Pick them up. Pick them up. There you go. There you go. Three more, three more. Grab my bay leg. There you go, there you go. Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. There you go. One more. You gonna get one tied? Yeah. One more. Grab my bay leg. Don't hurt him now, don't hurt him. There you go, there Y'all got to team up. Team up and get them. These young farmers. You ain't a farmer until you can catch a baby pig or a chicken. It's like it's like a quota. You got to catch at least two baby pigs and ten chickens before you, you're, you're officially a farmer. Right there, right there. There you go, there you go. Get them, get them. Y'all ain't trying. You ain't trying. Come on. There you go. Get them, get them. Get them, Ty. Get them, Ty. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, there you go. Get him, get him. Right there, you got him, you got him. Come on, come on. Can't let him go. But yeah, we 
Y'all yeah, watch that on her side now. Yeah, we are getting the baby pigs moved over from this style to this style where it's uh, clean and dry, fresh bedding. They done back out deep enough in their deep bed in here. Let that rest for a while. You should have them, Ty. You got them, Ty? Yeah. Hold them strong. Hold them strong. Don't let them go. Don't let them go. That's what I'm talking about. Pick them up. Pick them up. Yeah, man. There you go. There you go. I got them. I got them. Good job, boys. Good job, boys. All right, so we got the baby peas moved over to that new style. And, uh... Like I said, once they get big enough, we're gonna put them on the outside. Right now, we got them in the mini barn or whatever. And uh, got them some fresh food, fresh bedding. It's good and dry in here. Uh, getting them some water going in there now or whatever. But uh, we raising these as feeder pigs. We're gonna butcher these in the fall. Got them in the spring, gonna butcher them in the fall or whatever. But uh, while I'm in here, let me take you over here and show you the rabbits. Yeah, I'm gonna take you in here and show you the uh, baby rabbits. We got about four or five litters in here. About four or five candles. It might be some more by now. They started breeding. You can see some hair over there. Hair over there. I'll show you when I get in there. But first, let me get some more uh, food. Because uh, I don't want the mamas to attack me when I go in there. I'm messing with their babies. All right, so I got my little food. Now I can go over here and show you the babies. Here's how the rabbits do. They, they put down hair. I make sure the mama not finna try to attack me. But they put down hair over their babies when they had their babies or whatever. And then they had the babies in there. And I'm gonna tell you. That little white baby rabbit there. There's probably about 10 of them in each litter. Got one litter there. Got another litter over here. Let's see if I can show you that. See some baby rabbits. Got another litter over here. See them down up in there. They just nestled up. Got another litter over here. <laughs> See them down up in there. <laughs> But yeah, that's how the rabbits have their babies. They, yeah, they pull, pull the hair out from under their bellies and then they uh, make a nest or whatever so that they can have the babies in there and keep the babies warm or whatever. Go ahead and grab one of these baby rabbits. See if we can get a close up with it. If mama don't attack me, grab one of these white ones. It's funny how a black rabbit can make white babies. But, uh, but yeah. Let me see. Little rabbit babies. But yeah, we just down here working in the mini barn right now. I did all the chores outside already. Cause as you see, it's raining pretty hard out there. Like I said, uh, <clears throat> got the water up on the hill. Getting everybody water. <laughs> got the baby pigs in that new style. What you think, Tim? Yeah. yeah. As y'all saw the boys, they, they real farmers now. They, they not just uh sitting around, you know, doing nothing. They they working down here, you know, and that's how we want to train them up, you know. But uh hopefully they having fun and enjoying it just as much as we are. But yeah, we're in the minute barn. So the pen that just came from. We got that pen deep bedded. That, it's, it's probably that bedding in there is probably about two feet deep. Probably a foot deep, foot and a half, something like that. So it's time to let that rest. As y'all saw on our other video, you know, that's gonna be compost for the garden once it rests or whatever and breaks all the way down. I know we got another stall over here that we did. Got it good and dry. Our stalls used to get wet at first and then we pulled that concrete footer around the edges or whatever and kind of lifted the stalls up off the ground. And we did the same thing in here or whatever. Put concrete down in here. But yep, yep, yep. We ain't got much going on today though, y'all saw we just getting water, doing farm chores. And uh, doing it in the rain. As I said earlier, it don't stop when it's raining or whatever. You know, you still got farms. You still got to take care of the animals. We're now getting it done. It's IG Farms. Hi.